So you might have noticed this in your newsfeed on Facebook, being one particular group of individuals that have already raised their hand in some capacity, they are gonna think of you because you've hit them on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and it is extremely powerful. What I'm about to tell you is guaranteed to increase your return on ad spend with your insurance marketing lead development. My name is Landon McCarter and we spend a million dollars a month on insurance marketing alone in the digital marketing space. And I want to bring you one specific thing that not a lot of people are doing in the insurance marketing world because why? It, because it doesn't drive immediate short-term results and that thing is called remarketing. It might not be to some of you it's like, oh great, remarketing and to some others you're like, what's remarketing? Well, what I want to do is educate a little bit on what remarketing is. I wanna show you how we use it to increase our return on ad spend for all of our campaigns that have any sort of a focus on long-term uh, goals and results. So if I'm doing any project that isn't just a lead project for X amount of leads for this amount of you know, time window, I'm weaving remarketing into the campaigns. Now, what is remarketing? Remarketing is very simple. It's a concept of taking an audience that you've already identified as a warm market and remarketing to those individuals with another message or an, indig uh, uh, an individual message that is um, you know, communicating what you have already communicated um, but in a different way and using repetition and consistency to earn a customer. Meaning, if we have some sort of goal that we've identified, whether it's website traffic, watched X amount of percent of a video, or whatever, you know, when some conversion point went to a piece of gated content through our website, whatever that is, we're gonna build a remarketing campaign that's gonna identify those computers, cell phones, tablets, IP addresses, create a massive database of those actual devices, and then remarket to them for a individual message that is, um, you know, effective in the future as well. So they're not just seeing us one time. So for instance, I'm not going to put together one marketing campaign that's going to be, you know, hey, we hit them once and we hope they convert. I'm going to be putting together a video campaign. Let's just say it's a minute 30 video. Let's talk about 8% Nation for a second. Whenever we do our 8% Nation marketing, we're starting with our warm audience and we're taking the individuals that have converted in the past with us and showing them a message to try and get them back in our funnels. Then we're taking the individuals that have been to our websites, remarketing those that have watched our videos, and taking those warm audiences and making sure that those individuals are seeing our message for 8% 2020 as well. So remarketing is the, is the method of taking one particular group of individuals that have already raised their hand in some capacity that's shown interest in your brand and then hitting them again with another marketing message and another marketing message and another marketing message you would be surprised how effective this is. Some of the highest return on ad spend campaigns that we have running are remarketing campaigns. Now, remarketing campaigns um, are, they're very much a long-term approach. Um, well, I wouldn't say they're a long-term approach, they're more of like a middle-term approach, if you will. It's not short-term, because in order to actually remarket, you have to capture the IP addresses to be able to remarket, and in Google, you have to have 100 IP addresses Facebook isn't quite as many, but you basically have to have these IP addresses to then remarket. So over time, you're creating the snowball of affected devices that you've actually connected with in some capacity, and then remarketing to them with a, with a specific message. So you might have noticed this in your newsfeed on Facebook, why you keep seeing the same people over and over and over and over again. It's not because they're spending massive amounts of money and reaching you coincidentally multiple times, it's because you've watched a percentage of their video and then you've actually engaged in that in some capacity, whether it's liked, shared, commented, whatever, and they're gonna remarket to you that way. Or you've been to their website and now you're seeing them all on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, etc. That's called remarketing and it is extremely powerful, okay? How we use remarketing is, is we weave it into campaigns Anybody that's doing a lead development campaign that has a long-term approach and isn't just driving short-term lead results for individual producers, we will weave in remarketing campaigns to drive our leads um, up and our lead volume up and our lead cost down and our lead quality up big time. Um, it's also clear and crystal clear that you can take remarketing addresses. So like you can take your email addresses for all of your individuals in your database and import them to Google and Facebook and use that as an audience. And then once you identify, let's just say you have 10,000 people you've put into YouTube and, and Facebook and identified that as an audience that you want to uh, market to, then you can go back and find out, let's just say it was a minute 30 promo video. You can go in and you can find out of the people that we input into YouTube and Facebook, 70% watched 30 seconds of our minute 
and 30 video, that must be a more engaged audience. Let's remarket to that group again with a specific longer form message in order to get more conversions and leads that way. Now, I wanna reiterate that remarketing is never really like the answer or the core of a marketing message. It's kind of like the cherry on top, but some of our remarketing campaigns all, you know, can really drive a real ridiculous return on ad spend number. So um, one of the things that I wanna make sure you understand is, is in order to actually do remarketing, you have to you know, set it up. In Facebook's example, you have to install the pixel onto a website or you have to give, you know, create that criteria to create that audience and then you gotta remarket to that audience. One of the most effective ways to do this is to install the remarketing pixel, you know, Google's remarketing code onto your website and then remarket to website traffic. If individuals have been to your website, they have identified themselves as real prospects. If you're taking the actual IP addresses that go to your website every month, and then remarketing to them over and over and over again, especially things like Medicare, um, you know, or something like that. The, the second they become unhappy with their current Medicare provider, for instance, they are gonna think of you because you've hit them on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. You can even do remarketing Google search ads if you want. It's really an amazing product. Anybody, if you were to call Facebook and ask what's the most effective way to use your platform, they would tell you to market to warm audiences. They would tell you to send a massive, you know, campaign that's still targeted but larger and then remarket the warmer sections of those audience with multiple messages because research will tell you that it takes seven to ten touches before, you know, someone's going to connect with your brand. Well, it's cheaper and more effective to touch the people that are already engaging in your content and get them to convert as well. Um, you can also take, you know, individual series of videos and only show the next video to those that have watched a certain amount of your previous videos. You see Gary Vee do this a lot. So whenever you're trying to educate a particular market and on what you do and you have an ad spend and you're not super hyper focused on cost per lead, lead development, leads tomorrow, et cetera, and you have a marketing budget and you're trying to do it the right way, you always wanna weave in a remarketing campaign into your um, actual overall digital marketing strategy. So I really feel like if you're doing digital marketing but you're not doing remarketing, you're kind of doing the basics, the, the minimum to get by. There's a lot of extra things that you can do to drive extra leads and put cherries on top. The, the problem with remarketing though is you can't like scale it indefinitely because you're only gonna have you know, X amount of IP addresses to market and you're only gonna get X amount of leads that are gonna come through that. You can't just scale your remarketing audience because you don't have enough people to actually talk to. So remarketing is more of an ongoing snowball that gets rolling, but once it gets rolling, man, does it get rolling. So. I hope you guys found value out of this tool that is really a, a key principle of one of the reasons that you guys engage with every single time you're on, on Facebook or YouTube um, or Instagram, you're seeing remarketing ads. A lot of those ads that you're seeing are remarketing ads. So it's time to step up your insurance marketing game and implement those remarketing um, you know, campaigns into your actual you know, digital marketing strategies. If all this stuff is a little bit overwhelming and you have no idea what, you're, what I'm talking about or how to implement it, we would love to work with you and help you implement these. You can either pay us a consulting fee to help you set everything up, or we can manage your marketing budget for you. But this is something we were built to do, and we would love the opportunity to help you with. So I hope you guys found value in this content, and we'll see you on the next video. So guys, that's remarketing. Go check out my last year keynote speech at 8% Nation and talk about how to drive $1.78 insurance leads. And I really hope to see you this year in July of 2020 to come hang out with us in Vegas. This dude is a marketing freak. Give it up for my buddy, Landon McCarter.